Hello again, everybody. I've been dying to figure this out, and so I just did. Um, right here, we have a DKC 800, and right here, we have a DKC 850. And as you can see, they're identical, except for the fact that when you turn this one on, and when it first boots up, you'll see that it says E3. Let's just wait a second. See that? Okay, so you may be able to use it as an E3. I, In fact, I bet you could, but I've never tried it. But if you want to turn this into a DKC 850 instantly, turn off the power, take the CD player. Okay, see, see how there's a CD player right there? There are just two screws on the side. There are two, two screws right there and two screws right here that hold it in place. And you just want to gently move the CD aside like that. And then you'll go down into the unit and you'll see some dip switches right there. If that switch right there is switched over to the left, then that control unit will be an 850. Once again, dip switch one switched to the left makes it a DKC 850, okay? Now let's go over to this one. Once again, this one is set up as an E3. You go in there, move the CD player, and look at the dip switch, and this time you'll notice that switch one is turned to the right. So that turns this piano into, once again, E3. So now let's turn this one into a DKC 850. So I'm just gonna gently, with this screwdriver, I'm just gonna gently slide that baby over, okay? Now I'm gonna turn this on again, and this time you'll see that you the E3 logo won't show up on the LCD display. There you go. You now have a DKC 850, which is really, really, really good news because there are a lot of these DKC 800s out there which are, once again, E3 disc levers. A lot of those people will no longer need these control units because the E3 system can be updated to DKC 900, which is Yamaha's Inspire, which is the latest and greatest. And everybody wants the latest and greatest, but that doesn't mean that this system isn't wonderful because it is, this is actually really nice. So once again, all you have to do is switch that little switch Right there, switch number one, you turn it to the on position and the E3 turns into a DKC 850. And what's nice about this is that you can use this on any disc levier except for the Wagon Grand. Well, well, with the Wagon Grand you can, but you have to use MIDI cables. But um, this DKC 850 along with that um, little DKC converter board that I made that a lot of you have seen will allow this DKC 850 to work on um, every other piano. Well, on the Mark II pianos. So um, this, is, this is great news. So I thought I would just share this with everybody. So um, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.